Hello and welcome to Oracle Labs DBA Patch and Maintain Fundamentals course. This course has been designed with the fundamental idea to describe the patch application and maintenance process in a very easily understandable layman's wordings. Since I've got a very strong functional and pre-sales background, I have gone through times wherein I've struggled to understand these technical concepts, but of late I've struggled and understood the whole process and that's where I've decided to share this whole knowledge with you folks. This course can also help pre-sales, sales and functional consultants such that they can absorb the knowledge of patching and maintenance process and it can help them to interact with the customer or do a uh, risk analysis or impact analysis prior to a patch being applied. They can also use this knowledge for maintaining their own personal Oracle applications instance for uh, which they usually use for demonstration purposes. Before we go into the objectives of the course, I thought it's a good idea to share this slide with you. People who are new to Oracle Applications DBA, they should follow this path in learning the database side of the applications. My recommended approach is that they should first start with learning how to install and configure an Oracle Applications eBusiness Suite environment. Once they learn that, that's where you've got a ready instance that is already installed and then you learn how to patch and maintain that instance. And once you learn how to patch and maintain then that instance, then the next step should be learn uh, to how to backup and recover a existing instance or how to clone an existing instance. So that's a kind of a typical DB learning path at a very high level. That's it. Let's proceed to the course objectives. So by the end of this course, you will be able to understand and use add admin utility. I will explain you in detail what exactly is meant by add admin utility. Patch concepts including patch file structure, patch formats, code lines and code levels. This may sound a little bit technical to you now but as we move along in the course I will explain you what each of these terminology means. Basically these terms are used to designate the naming conventions of the patch that Oracle releases from time to time which includes small patches for for one-time bug fixes or it could be bigger patches like uh, a roll-up patch or a family pack or and so on. We'll then move on to understand the different patch types which I was just talking to you about and understand Oracle patches naming conventions including roll-up patches, family packs and RUPs. It will be a very interesting discussion because a lot of time a functional or sales folks doesn't know what exactly each of these means. They get confused into what's the difference between each of these uh, patches. So it it's, it it will be interesting discussion going forward. Then I will cover the topic of understanding the command line patch utilities including the utility add patch, add manager patch, or I should say add merger patch and patch application assistant. We will look by going into the details of add patch utility and I will also demonstrate you end-to-end -end process using the add patch utility. I will also cover the basics of web page patch utilities which is nothing but Oracle Applications Manager. I will take you through the entire Oracle Applications Manager to let you understand how the patching works on the front end side, how you can track the history of the patches, how you can track or get new patches as they are released and the recommended patches. Once we are done with this, I will go on further to understand and share a little more about the patching strategies that's used by large environments where, wherein you've got say 
distributed systems or complex environments then I will cover the topic of ways to reduce the maintenance downtime usually what what happens is around the patching the instance is brought down and the user gets affected and if something goes wrong then this impact increases so I will share ways wherein you can reduce the maintenance downtime then we'll go on to understand a couple of patching best practices I will share uh, with you what could be uh, understood as best practices by applications DBA as far as you know large patches or upgrades are concerned and finally we will have a brief discussion around the 12.2 changes and the new features for patch application in release 12.2 so having said that I believe this will be a very exhaustive course uh, as far as the patching and maintenance process is concerned and would be very interesting if you are new to this process alright so let's get started